Hey, what's up, YouTube? Squad Gamers here, and today I'm going to be talking about the best weapons in Sniper Elite 3, as you can tell by the title of this video. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth with the equipment, I'm mostly just going to be talking about the snipers, the secondaries, and the pistols. Now, all of this is just my opinion, you don't have to agree with me, but this is just what I've found to be the best, and this is what I've found to like after playing. Now, I bought all the DLC, so no gun is going to be left out, and maybe this is going to help you decide whether or not you want to buy the DLC. Um, I'd also like to apologize in advance for pronouncing the names of these guns wrong. I know I'm going to do it, so I'm just going to pronounce them how I want to say it, how I see it, and uh, so let's get started with these snipers. So when it comes to snipers, I think the most important stat is scope wobble. Uh, this game is all about shooting people from a distance, so if your scope is wobbling all over the place, it's going to be hard to hit your target. So right off the bat, I'm going to take off the Lee Enfield MK3, the Carcano, and the Gewer 43. All of them have more than halfway scope wobble, so I'm just going to eliminate them. Now each sniper is good for certain game types and game options, so you just need to find the one that's right for you. Now when I play, I like to play with one shot, one kill, so one bullet will kill no matter what. Now, this makes the damage stat completely worthless to me, so I can just ignore it. So, the next important stat is going to be zoom. Like I said earlier, you're going to be shooting people from really far away, so the farther you can zoom in, the easier it's going to be to hit someone. And that's where the SVT, obviously, and the M1 Grand get eliminated. And the winner is the Mosin Nagant. The Mosin Nagant has little scope wobble, the best zoom out of all the snipers, high muzzle velocity, and high damage. The only bad thing about the Mosin is the recoil. But the recoil doesn't really matter anyways because it's a bolt action, so by the time you chamber another round, your scope is already back on target. The Mosin came in the Camouflage DLC pack, which I bought for $4 on Steam, and it also comes with the MP44, which I'm going to be talking about next. Okay, so when it comes to secondaries, it's not really fair to compare the... Uh, assault rifles with like the shotgun and the Panzer Shrek. Um, so I'm just gonna divide this into like three different parts. I'm gonna compare the assault rifles and then I'm gonna be talking about the trench gun and the Panzer Shrek separately. So in this game, assault rifles are very close range weapons. They're really inaccurate from a medium distance and they're mostly just for CQB. With that being said, the most important stats are going to be accuracy and range. So when it comes to assault rifles, it's no competition that the MP44 is the best, having the highest stats in both accuracy and range while still having an average rate of fire and damage. So the gold medal for ARs goes to the MP44. Now let's talk about the Panzer Shrek. This rocket launcher is definitely the worst possible secondary you could choose. It usually takes two direct hits to kill someone, or three very close hits. I think they didn't want people running around with this thing, so they made the damage terrible, but they went a little bit too far. And lastly, we have the trench gun. It's definitely not a bad choice. It takes one shot to kill someone from close range, and the reloading time is very short. I don't have any complaints about this gun other than the small range. So in the end, I would say the MP44 and the trench gun both win. If you're infiltrating a base with multiple enemies, you're going to want to have the trench gun so you don't have to take forever to reload. But if you're in a 1v1 situation, someone has a trench gun, the other guy has an MP44, as long as the guy with the MP44 keeps his distance, he's going to win every time. So when it comes to pistols, I think they're pretty much completely worthless in my opinion. Uh, the only way you're going to kill someone with a pistol is if you walk up behind them, you sneak up behind them, and you shoot them in the back of the head. If you just spray them down, 90% of the time they're going to turn around and just kill you. So the only point in using a pistol, in my opinion, is just to silently kill someone. And that's because the only two guns in the game that have silencers are two of the pistols, which are the Wellrod and the Semi-Auto HDM. And uh, the Wellrod is a bolt-action pistol, and that's just a terrible idea right there. Obviously, you're going to have a terrible rate of fire, so it's no competition that the HDM is a lot better, and the HDM is going to win it for the pistols. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the attachments or the equipment, really. Um, like I said, it's kind of your playing style on what stats you like to have increased or decreased and that's what attachments do and as far as the equipment goes um, it honestly everyone pretty much just uses the mines the grenades aren't the best really they're alright they're kinda hard to throw but everyone just uses the mines that's what I use they're really effective when you're trying to hold down a base or whatever 
But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, the winners of... I guess I should say all the winners. Uh, the winner of the snipers was the Mosin Nagant, which was in the DLC of the Weapon Camouflage Pack. Uh, the winner of the secondaries was the MP44 slash the Trench Gun. The MP44 was in the Camouflage Weapon Pack, and the Trench Gun was in the... Um, it was also in a weapon pack. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was like the hunting, the hunting's weapon pack, something like that. And the pistols, the semi-auto HDM was the winner, which was in the camouflage weapon pack. So if you've learned anything from this video at all, it's that the camouflage weapon pack is definitely worth buying. I'd say it's only four bucks. I bought it. Um, I'd recommend buying that to be a little bit of a better player using better guns. But that's going to be all for this video, guys. So I spent a lot of time uh, putting this together, so it would mean a lot to me if you'd leave a like. And um, that's going to be it, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.